Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from the Merrimack Institute for New Teacher Support. Um, today I'm joined by a former classroom teacher and administrator, Chantelle Elcox. Um, she'll be talking about her passion and love for the StrengthsFinder 2.0 book. Um, so recently we've been doing a lot of videos about remote learning. Um, this is just applicable to really in-person, um, meeting over Zoom, really anything, but it is a little um, away from our typical remote learning strategies. But we're just so excited to have someone to share um, this knowledge about how to use your strengths in the workplace and honestly in daily life. So um, we're really excited to hear what you have to share with us. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. I'm really excited to talk about um, this book, Strength Finders 2.0, that I happened upon because it really has influenced me in so many ways. Oh, that's so great to hear. Um, so yeah, share your screen whenever you're ready and we'd be happy to listen and watch. Thank you. Can you help me with that? Oh yeah, multiple. You're good now. Sorry about that. Right. Thanks. Oh, speaking of Zoom difficulties, um, just so you're all aware, the photos may be blocking some of the slides. We just tried to figure that out a bit, um, but we'll get there. So I apologize if our faces are blocking some of the text, but nevertheless, the information will get out to you. So take it away. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. So um, there is the picture of the Strengths Finder. I'm sure you'll find it at Amazon. You can also directly go to www.gallup.com, um, the group that has done all of the research behind Strengths Finder 2.0. I've titled the presentation, as you'll see, Identifying Talent in Leadership Teams to Enhance Collaborative Work because a large segment of the work of this presentation will actually be about how I've used this at work. But I'll also talk about how I happened upon the book and really just used it personally for a long time before I used it um, in my professional life. Um, so the goals for this presentation really are just to familiarize with you with the StrengthsFinder 2.0 if you've never heard of it. Or if you've heard of it, I hope that I will get your appetite going um, to actually uh, encourage you to get more information about it, to get a book, or to actually take the Strengths Finder yourself to discover what your talents are. And then I will talk to you about how I have shared my strengths with my team and how I have had each of my team members take this assessment as well so that we are really an enhanced and stronger team because of it. Oh, a little okay, bit about disclaimer. Thank you. <laughs> my, quick disclaimer, my quick disclaimer is that I do not work for Gallup or StrengthsFinder at all, but I'm just really very passionate about it. Um, I've just come to enjoy it so much that I've shared it with my friends and my family and pretty much anyone who will listen to me. Um, it's just really been that enjoyable. My background in education is that I've been a, I was an elementary classroom teacher on um, grades three and four, had my heart for a very long time in 14 years. Then I became a Title I coordinator for two different elementary schools. I was an assistant principal for four years at my school and um, principal for six years. The Strengths Finder, as I mentioned to you, is really a brief 30 minute online assessment in which words or phrases are provided for you, two, two of them. Sometimes the words are very different, sometimes they're very similar, and you need to select the one that, reson that you resonate with um, more closely. Now, following your hunch in that, answering quickly, is what will give you the better, more accurate answers. Um, the result, after taking the quick assessment, is the uh, Strengths Finder will provide for you your top five talents in a particular order. Um, you can further go into a deeper study of your talents um, through the gallup.com website, and you can actually be provided with all 34 of the themes and talents, um, which is an additional cost, but would get, definitely give you a, a, a greater picture of where your strengths, where your strengths and talents lie. <clears throat> how personalized is your profile? How much research is there behind all of this? Tons of information for you to find at gallup.com. But what, what has struck me um, beyond taking the assessment on my own once for fun 
was that uh, I resonated so closely with the top five, my top five strengths that I couldn't help but encourage other people to do it because I wanted to see if they resonated with it too. And in fact, only one out of 33.4 million people in the world will have the same top five strengths as you in, the, in that sequence. If you broaden it to look at your top 10 strengths in your rank order, it would be one in 447 trillion people. So this is personalized and it does provide you a personalized report based on the choices that you selected during your assessment. Um, this picture is just, again, to give you a quick overview, you might have, um, take a moment to just look at all of the scan the 34 themes or the 34 talents. I'll talk to you a little bit more later about how, e how leadership is wrapped into um, four buckets, so to speak, that go along with the themes and talents. Um, you're going to see more in future slides about executing and relationship building strategic thinking and influencing. How did this start? This started for me at Barnes and Nobles. Um, I went into Barnes and Nobles just looking for something. I wasn't sure what. And as I was browsing, I came upon the Strengths Finder and I was skimming through the first few pages. I was actually a Title I coordinator at the time. And the quote that you see here really struck me. In every culture we have studied, the overwhelming majority of parents, 77% in the United States, think that a student's lowest grades deserve the most time and attention. The work that I was doing in Title I at the time was looking at assessments and data for students, trying to develop groups of instruction, targeting their areas of weakness um, to increase their foundational skills. All really good and very important work. But it just really gave me pause to think about, are we spending the right amount of time and the right efforts in the right places? And why are students becoming disengaged at younger and younger ages? And, and I don't want that. And we in education don't want that. We want students to be really engaged. We want college students to be engaged in remote learning. That's why we really want to also spend time with our students, no matter their age, it, um, having them spend time working in their strengths, as well as us as professionals. We want to spend time as professionals working in our strengths. Um, beyond what it does for kids, the story leads here to engagement. I was, as I was skimming those first few pages that first time, it really struck me that people who do not have the opportunity to focus on their strengths every day are six times as likely to be engaged in their jobs and more than three times as likely to report having an excellent quality of life in general. So if you're working from your talent, you're gonna enjoy your work a lot more. Here are my um, talents as identified by StrengthsFinder 2.0. And the sequence came out to be Achiever, Harmony, Focus, arranger, and responsibility. All of the 34 strengths are very important um, in everyday life, are very important in work. However, people naturally are inclined um, to have their talent lie in certain areas, and these just happen to be mine. And I will explain to you in a little bit um, greater detail how they have influenced my work with others. Once these areas of talent are identified, and talent being just your natural way of thinking, feeling, or behaving, um, they really can be developed once you, you have awareness of them to a strength. And Strength Finder or Gallup defines strength as your ability to consistently provide near perfect performance. Things that seem easy for some people are easy because they have developed their talent for it and they have a strength for it. So here you'll see how the 34 strengths or talents are kind of filled into four different buckets. The executing bucket, which is really about people who have strengths in this area know how to make things happen. 
the influencing bucket, which really show that people who have strengths in this area know how to take charge, they know how to speak up, they make sure that the team is heard, everyone on the team is heard. Relationship building people, people who have these themes are great at building strong relationships, at holding a team together and making a team better because of them. And strategic thinkers are idea people. They absorb information, they analyze information, and they help us to make better decisions. Ultimately, any team that you have, you do want to have well-roundedness. You might have individuals that have a, a strength in one bucket or across buckets, um, but the goal is to have a group of people that have strengths in each. What I did after I had concluded my self-assessment and had identified my strengths and talents is I had each member of my administrative leadership team do the same. They were very excited about it. And then we used um, a grid similar to the one that I'm, that I'm showing you, um, identifying our names and, and listing our talents in the rank order so that we could see as a team who of us had strengths in an executing bucket or in a relationship building bucket so that we could leverage these talents to maximize our work together, our collaboration together and our effectiveness. And as a leader, I really wanna make sure that people are working in their strengths. I wanna make sure that people are working in the zone and are, ha are happy to be doing the work that they're doing. So let me tell you about a few of my friends. Um, for those of you who love color coding, this, this hopefully will work for you. I have taken the four buckets at the top and we've used a little bit of color coding. The dark blue is for the executing bucket. There's an influencing bucket. The relationship you'll see in the light blue and the strategic thinking is in red. Again, the, the first person that I've um, brought us to is um, the five talents or strengths that, were, that I was able to identify. Um, and as a brief summary, I want you to notice that four of those are in the darker blue. Those are in the ex executing bucket. So it, I do feel that as a leader, if I'm given a task or an idea, I am able to execute. I can make things happen. I can arrange things. I know who my people are, where I need to put them. I'm responsible. I'm an achiever. And I'm going to want to get it done. And I have focus like nobody's business. Um, the one area that can be a trouble for me around focus is not stopping to eat lunch because I can just get so incredibly focused on um, the work that I'm doing. Um, another colleague of mine you'll see on the right hand side, you'll see different colors. And I love this colleague because she, her strengths lay in a completely different areas than mine. And hers are really in the strategic thinking areas. She is a brainstormer. When you need someone that's gonna be a great brainstormer, she has ideation, input. She's futuristic thinking, she's an activator, she can make things happen. She influences those around her and she's a relator. She's excellent with relationship building. So she and I have incredible conversations where she will approach me and say, Chantel, I need you to say nothing. I just need to do a brain dump. And that's why I thought that visual was just so perfect. Um, and she wants to brain dump, sometimes draw and, and she just gets it all out of her head because she has so many ideas. And I just need to listen because I know where we are. I listen to her visions of where we can go and I'm able to help her really focus in and hone in on where we wanna be, what our next step is gonna be. So she is just a terrific colleague to have. Here are two more of my two, last two members of my leadership team. Um, you'll see, I want you to especially notice too that three of our four members of the team have Achiever as our very top talent or strength which means we like to get a lot of stuff done. We've also learned as a leadership team that we need to be careful about that as we think about all of the people that work with us and for us, because we don't wanna overwhelm by being the achievers that we are. Um, but I want you to notice that this staff member two has four um, in the dark blue of executing as well. She is also someone that absolutely will get things done. I selected the restorative image for her because as she learned about her strengths and talents, she really, it really resonated with her how much, how much of a talent and a strength 
being restorative was for her. She fixes things with her children and her family um, at work all the time. She gets charged up when somebody says, can you help me with this? What a great person to have on a team. Um, because she also complements that restoration with consistency and discipline. She will get it done on time. She's happy to get it done, happy to fix it, get it done on time. It's accurate and it's well done the first time. She's a wonderful person to have on, on our team. And um, lastly, another member of our team, he it happens to be a little bit more, uh, crosses three of the leadership buckets. You'll see that achiever and deliberative are in executing and he's very good at looking at the big picture. I'm gonna say next, his futuristic and really identifying deliberatively, selecting deliberatively action steps to take. Um, he's also a relater. I often compliment him on taking the time when he needs to collaborate or speak with teachers instead of just sending emails he will take the time to walk down to classrooms and talk with teachers on that one-on-one -on -one level um, where that relator piece of him comes out very very strongly um, and also very strategic in his thinking so as a principal i just have been so excited to see how the strengths finder identification of talents and strengths has been so incredibly accurate for each member of my team, how each member of my team has um, really bought into the power of our strengths and into the acceptance of, we don't have to be all things for each other. We can focus on what each of us does well. And by doing that, we are so much more powerful and extraordinary in what we can accomplish. And I think this can be true for any leadership team. I think it can be true for classroom teachers of college students when um, if you had the opportunity to have college students identify their strengths they could be put into certain groups based on their strengths and you could develop the really well-roundedness of these groups um, based on these things having some discussions about it i would encourage so that that the self-awareness of each of the students and why you've chosen to put them in those groups I think would be a, a really helpful thing if, if you chose to do that. Um, but it has influenced me so much personally as well as professionally. If I've whetted your appetite, you can get more information at www.gallup.com. You'll be able to take the Strength Finder um, assessment online immediately um, and start to see where it plays out in your own life. Then some next steps would be. Um, to really become more familiar with them. The book provides one and a half page summaries of each of the talents and strengths. I've seen the talents and strengths be put on resumes. Sometimes we purposefully at our meetings with just our four staff members have written our strengths on name tents so that as we're having conversation, we really have that visual reminder of what each of our talents is. And we want to celebrate our strengths and successes together. So I couldn't be more excited to share this with you today. I hope that I've made you excited about it. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. Amanda will have a link with more info with my email. Awesome, if you wanna stop sharing your screen so we can just wrap up, that'd be great. Um, I feel like I just took so much away from that too and even just looking at my own strengths so I know in my order it's self-discipline, empathy, futuristic, individualization, and activator which is among the four buckets so it's really interesting to see where I land and I think it would be really really cool to just you know use with even just your friend group or um, work colleagues and everything like that so Definitely very interesting, very insightful. So thank you so much for sharing all of this. Um, and yes, I will definitely add your email as well as the Vince email at the bottom in the description below. Um, we'd love to hear about your strengths and if any of your schools or districts use the Strength Finder quiz. Um, I think it is a really great tool. And um, that's all I really have. Are there any last words you'd like to say? Nope, thank you again for your time, everyone. And I, I hope you enjoyed something. I hope you learned something very simple to take away and um, enjoy your summers. You deserved it.
Yes, thank you educators for all you do. We're here for you and see you next time. Bye.